A note from Alphys. Read it? Hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this node. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Yeah, that's where the thing broke. Warning, warning! Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Hey, Dwight. Oh, we just got dunked. Uh, from an elevator. Tree number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to do what we have now. Souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Power room. Like an elevator. There's a note on the ground you can't make it at all, all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Is there anything over here? Tree <clears throat> number six. As Gore asked everyone outside of the city for monsters that had fallen down, the bodies came in with today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than all we all thought. Tree number nine. So we're skipping two entries. Things aren't going well. Now the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, hello. Pick out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Nobody came. Emery had it. Just a moment. Oh well. What the hell is this? And who knows, I might get a good amount of money for this. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Zero XP, zero gold. There's a key, red key line in the safe. You can't put it on your keychain. There's no on the ground, you can't get it all out. It's random drop it. That's all you can read. But the red key fits perfectly in the slot. Still monitor nine. Nobody came. Alright. Tree number twelve. 
Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Alright. An empty dog food bowl. Looks like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left of it. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. Sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgard, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. Send everyone back tomorrow. That's not going to go well. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! I don't think that's a good sign. Hello. Oh. Little star thing. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shape. Welcome to my special hell. Smells like sweet lemons. Oh. Call for help and the wind came. That's what they all say. Ow. Bit of a distance go. Oh shit! Seriously? Wow. Alright, death 26. I think. <clears throat> That's lovely. Let's head this way first instead. One of these mirrors is gonna be me. Entry number seven. We need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of the monsters, just a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh, lovely. Entry number 10. Experimenting on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. It seems just stick to you and won't let go. If something happens with the mirror. Wash your hands, nothing happened. You gotta like sprint across. I think you know. You did something mysterious. Recognize it as more to learn this week. Oh, this is funny. Oh, poor bear. You don't pray for safety, and remember remembers his conscience. Oh. No, that's some interesting stuff. Hands are clean enough to eat. Um, you have a familiar tune, but no one heard you. on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Rip it, rip it. Courage! Oh, it's a combination of multiple enemies. That's sort of creepy. Oh, right. They were doing, like, monster experiments and stuff. One. Which pays zero gold.
if I dealt with that monster at least. Over here. Oh, cold. Alright. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Switch on the wall. Press it? Yeah. Hey guy, make it cold. Yeah, I'll have the key. The amalgamate. Beckon. Call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Amalgamate is hovering close. Hey. Set the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. Rest quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Amalgamate is striking the wall with his claws. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans a stripping amorphous body on you. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. Try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. At the Amalgamate, it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Mm. Ow. Right. I needed to heal. Too bad. Mm. Ow. Pet. Pet decisively, the amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Dogeny is contented. One. key lying in the bathtub. You take it and put it on your keychain. And nothing attacks me. You know, underground, you can't make it out of the under sheets. That's all you're doing. VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. It's going to be like a specific order. Will you watch one? Take one. Cory, wake up. Hmm? What is it? Fear? Why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want to get your reaction. Hurry, dearest. What's my favorite vegetable? Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed. Here. No, no. Not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what bre breed of dog would I be? I don't know. Honey. What kind of dog would you want to, would you be? It would be a Mamaranian. <laughs> sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey! Come on, Cory. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. 
Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Number four, I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. <coughs> okay, Tresky, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Howdy, Trisky. Fall for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. Not so bad. We made Mom really upset. Should have laughed it off like you did. Um. Anyway. Where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Let's take three. I... I don't like this idea, Trisky. What? No, I'm not... The kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No! I never doubt you, Trisky. Never. Yeah! We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. We'll go get the flowers. We want you to wake up. Risky! You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Risky, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? No, no, there ones. No, no, my neck. Um. Let me want to save before this next guy, just so I don't have to redo all that. Yep, I understand the videos. Lie on it? Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Nightmare Nick. Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh, that's lovely. Tentacle with another tentacle coming out. I guess I just have to lie in it longer. <clears throat> Alright, I'll just lie on it for a little while. Gonna stick around a bit, see if anything else happens. It's making anybody else tired. Not making me tired that much. So it is making me think about a bed, at least. Go 
Oh, like a bomb. Not where I was supposed to go. Oh yeah. I don't actually remember where the hell I was trying to go. Alright, I got a key here. Another thing I say so I'm gonna say hi to this guy. Let lemon bread bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Welcome to my special hell, he says. Guts. Flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shake. But nobody came. Smells like sweet lemons. I'll say. My sweet lemons. Try as low as you could, but nobody can. Stay here with me. Possible to dodge that one? This be goodbye. Must have not seen where it was possible to dodge. ET okay. extraction machine status inactive. Tree number 19. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. The refrigerator is empty. The refrigerator seems to be empty examples of some kind. The refrigerator seems to be examples of some kind. Alright, read this one first. Entry number 20. As we were left me five messages tonight. Four about everybody being angry. One about this cute teacup we found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. The refrigerator is empty. Number 21, I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Refrigerator. It's also empty. And now it's a monster. So cold. Oh, said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? Wait, didn't say that? Oh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? No, we. Like, told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. So cold. A bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. A bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Zero B and zero gold. Found a blue key on the ground. You put it in your keychain. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Kurt, tell you to read. The key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, so I got that one. Yeah, that one's still empty. It just likes to shake at me. Yeah, poor amalgamates. 
I may need to do a restroom run real quick. I've been sitting here for a little while. I've been holding it in too long. Oh, hello, clock. Clock is broken. It's a fake plant. It's another fake, fake plant. And where? Alright, this was the hallway into here. Yummy! I'll be right back. I need to do a restroom run. Sorry everyone, but I've been holding it in for a while. I'm still missing one of the keys that I actually put in. Uh, I put three in place, I believe. I already got the one from this place. We got the one from there. Alright, so I think that's all of them. That was the one I was thinking of. Okay, 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 okay. I'm about to die. Alright, see you, Nightmare. Thanks for dropping by. Alright, running back. Front door. I think I've put them all in place. Yep, I have. Alright. Don't have money, whatever. Seems to be turned off. Also seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. But take my heart, isn't it? <clears throat> well, hey, amalgamates. Hey, stop! We got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came back, came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. That's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. You probably know Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. <clears throat> During my research, I isolated a power called determination, I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt, and I lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into 
those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone I've done what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure, there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure, there will be times when I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. Time for everyone to go home. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of this garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains a will to live? Entry number 18. Flower is gone. <clears throat> it's a voice you have never heard before. Risky. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Risky. Too soon. Okay, then. <clears throat> That's new.